everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will talk to you about my must-have rosy perfumes. And I come across this idea to film the video where I share with you my most favorite rosy fragrances as I was driving the car with my mom on a very rainy day. And I remember I told her that I was in the mood to put on a gorgeous rosy and incense fragrance because I think rose and incense goes together really well, especially when it is rainy outside. Anyways, I told her that and then I told her the differences between rosy scents and stuff like that. And she told me that I should film the video where I talk to you guys about my most favorite rosy perfumes, why I love them and just explain you the differences between them. So that is what we are gonna do today in this video. But first of all, I really want to mention one thing and that is I'm that person who always looks for strange, unusual and just outstanding perfumes with absolutely rare ingredients and notes in them. And let's be honest, rose is probably the most common notes in the perfume because, first of all, for good reason, it smells amazing on its own, but it also smells amazing in the combination with other notes, which makes the note of rose probably the most used note in the perfumes. So, I was really skeptical about rosy perfumes before because I thought they are all the same, they are nothing special and I probably don't need them in my life, so I didn't pay attention to them. And that has changed in the last couple of weeks and now I'm rose addict. So, I was looking through my collection because I really wanted to pick up my most favorite rosy perfumes and I just want to explain you why I love them so much and why I think you should try them out. Because, you know, rose can be different, it can be warm and it can be cold, it can be sensual, it can be sexy and it can be romantic, and it can be really deep and it also can be fresh. So, in this video I will talk to you about different perfumes that feature different types of roses, so if you're interested, then please keep on watching. So, guys, we will start this video with one of the most amazing roses perfumes that is called Me Too and it is by the German niche perfume house that is called Nana Bailey. I met Nana in the real life and she's a very lovely lady and Me Too is inspired by her own experience with angels. In Me Too, Rose plays the main role and that is for a good reason, because Rose can be revealed as a heavenly touch to humankind and can be clearly perceived in a fragrance form. Me Too is meant as a divine touch and love scent from heaven. And a very interesting fact is that the rose essence itself swings in a high frequency of 320 megahertz, representing the highest energy of love. So that is very interesting. And as I said, rose is definitely the main character in this perfume, but I love that we can smell other aspects, such as fruity nuances in the opening, as well as gentle sweet cinnamon and a hint of incense that creates an amazing scent in the combination with rose. Now, I really like the high concentration of ingredients in this scent because the perfume is very long-lasting, it will last on your skin, clothes and hair for a long, long time. And guys, it smells like heaven and I don't lie, I am telling you the truth. This perfume represents the angel that is called Barakel and he stands for blessing and miracles in our lives. So if you want to smell like an angel, literally, you just need this perfume. It smells gorgeous, guys, and I'm sure every girl and every woman will love this scent because it will suit every lady, it doesn't matter how old you are, and I'm sure that every man will love Me Too on the woman, so that makes Me Too number one feminine rosy scent that I know. And I actually bought it as a present for my mom and it comes in this gorgeous box with an angel in it on it and in the box you get the perfume as well as the scent, um, the message uh, from Angel and I think that is just a really lovely concept and the perfume itself smells amazing. I would wear it 
every day of my life and I'm sure my mom will literally love it and it will be awesome for every weather when it is hot, when it is warm and even when it is cold. And we are moving on to the next perfume that is perfect for all the lovers of natural fragrances because it is by the most awesome artisan American perfume house that is called House of Matriarch and the perfume that we are gonna talk about is called Kazimi. Now I really wanted to try out this perfume because I have seen quite a few reviews on the internet on it and some people really loved it and others were like, oh, it is nothing special. So I really want to try it out myself and make my opinion. And I absolutely love this perfume for quite a few reasons. So I have it in this really tiny but very cute small sample. And a particular thing about this perfume is it features quite a few uh, different types of roses and rosy extracts and stuff like that. So all the notes um, of each perfume that I will show you today will be in my description box down below. So make sure you, that you check it out if you're interested in that. But I really want to read you just the roses that this perfume features. It has also other notes in it, but it has quite a few rosy um, extracts. So we have Edward Rose, Rose Bourbonia, Rose Apothecary Concrete Tincture, Rose Otto, White Rose India and Wild Rose. So what I love about this perfume, it is very deep, it is rich and it is dreamy. And it is absolutely unisex, which is almost you know, like the best part of it. But the best part is that this is a rosy perfume. It is fresh. In the opening you get something fresh and a little bit spicy, but also a lot of roses. And the best part of wearing this perfume is its dry down, because in the dry down you can experience all the nuances. You can experience gorgeous roses, you can experience some woody nuances, balsamic nuances, such as herbaceous or herbal nuances, and also something spicy. And I adore this scent so much. So guys, since it is a natural perfume, it should stay close to the skin. But I was so surprised by its quality. I um, made three spritzes and I could smell the perfume all day long. It has beautiful silage. It is not a crazy silage, but it has silage, which is um, not a common thing for natural perfumes. And even after I washed my hair, I could smell this scent on my hair, which is the most awesome thing ever. Now, as I've told you, um, this is absolutely a unisex perfume. I prefer to wear it when it is windy outside. So when the wind comes, it just, you know, you can smell the perfume so intensely. And I love that very much. Um, especially when it is maybe rainy or not overly hot. It is also awesome. It acts absolutely amazing on the skin. And I just really like that beautiful balmy undertone, you know, like balsamic undertone. So if you like the scent of um, rose oil, I recommend you Kazimi because that scent is just the best natural rosy perfume that I have tried. And the next perfume that we are moving on to is called Le Mat, and it is by one of my most favorite niche perfume houses ever that is called Mentitrosa Odori Danima. Now I have it in a travel sized uh, bottle but you can of course order it in a full size bottle. And Le Mat is on the warm side. So we have beautiful, really rich and sensual rose in here, um, complemented by different spices that are on the warm side. So for example, the flower of immortal is on the same level as the rose is in this perfume, but what I like, it doesn't overwhelm the rose. So all the beautiful notes in this perfume just accentuate the velvet rose. And I adore this scent so much. It is probably the most luxurious and niche smelling like rosy scent that I have tried and it is perfect for everyday wear but it will grab people's attention so be aware of that and I think that makes this scent perfect for a special occasion. Now since it is um since this rose is more on the warm side 
I would recommend to wear it when it's a little bit colder outside, but I adore wearing it in the summer evening. And you just literally need one or two spritzes and you will smell this perfume all day long. And actually, Le Mat represents one of the tarot cards, which look like uh, which looks like this. And um, Le Mat represents every one of us. So I just think this is an awesome perfume, uh, very appropriate for winter and is unisex. So men as well as women will just rock the scent and everybody will be like, oh, wow. So yeah, that's been said, we are moving on to the completely different rosy perfume from Le Mat, and it is also by one of my most favorite niche perfume houses ever, it is called Rosarier, and this perfume is awesome, it is just absolutely unique. And in here we have smoky rose, not even smoky, it is incense rose. And first of all, when you smell it, you get a lot of incense as well as a lot of roses. Actually, this perfume was inspired by Jeanne d'Arc, which is a legendary figure. And this is a very strong perfume. That's for I like to wear it when it is rainy outside and a little bit cold. I can also see myself wearing it in the spring, summer and autumn and I don't know how it will act when it is really cold but, but when it is rainy it is just a must-have rosy scent. Now since incense is very strong in it, um, it is a very mysterious and mystical scent and believe me it has the most amazing projection ever and it will grab people's attention. So, a very interesting fact is that uh, Rosaria was the finalist of Art and Affection Award this year and it features three types of roses. So, we have Damask Rose, we have English Rose as well as My Rose, Rose de Mai. And to those types of roses suit both men and women, which makes uh, this perfume absolutely unisex. And this is just a wonderful, really unusual rosy scent. So if you are looking for something rosy but very, very unusual, I recommend you Rosario by Print Perfume. And the last but not least scent that we are moving on to is called Pink Quartz and it is by the French niche perfume house that is called Olivier Durbano. And this is a rosy perfume that will be so beautiful on the man. And don't get me wrong, this is absolutely unisex perfume. But it is on the fresh and I would even say on the cold side. So first, when you smell it, you get a bunch of freshly cut roses, which have something fresh to them, but also something romantic as well as spicy. So it is a very spicy rosy scent and those spicy notes come from ginger. So if you are familiar with ginger, when you cut fresh ginger, it just gives you a refreshing and very stimulating feeling and that does this perfume as well. And spices are very noticeable in the dry down. So first of all, you get a lot of fresh um, roses and then beautiful spices. And I will adore to smell this scent on the men. So all the men who are watching this video right now, if you have a chance, just apply the scent on your skin and see how you like it because this is that rosy scent that will be just gorgeous on a man. What can I say? I love it very much. And this is not a typical rosy scent for men, okay? And it is not feminine. It has so many aspects to it and I just absolutely recommend Pink Words by Olivia Durbano to all the men out there who are looking for an amazing rosy perfume. Guys, that completes this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching it and it was helpful for you because, you know, I truly love all of the fragrances that I showed you today and I swear by them. So, if you are uh, the fan of rosy perfumes, you need them in your life and if you haven't found your perfect rosy scent, I am sure that some of these fragrances that I have showed you today will become your favorites. So, I hope that 
that it was uh, fun to watch and you learned something new. And if you did, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos like this, because I post two or three times a week, so you will always get something interesting to watch. And I will be really happy to see you on my channel. And please comment down below and share with us which rose scent is your favorite. So have kisses from Germany and we will see each other in my next video really soon. Bye!